Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I have a brand new product to review for the Angry Irishman. Now this is a, a company that's located up in Ohio making some fantastic products. I've reviewed their hot sauces on my channel before. The original, the Chipotle, their Y hot sauce made with Carolina Reapers and Trinidad Scorpion Peppers is just fantastic. Their mustards are also very, very good. So uh, check this company out. I think they're really making a name for themselves lately and a lot more people are finding out how good their products are. So really excited to be able to review their new barbecue sauce. Now these uh, products were sent to me from the owners Kevin and Marianne Mackey. There's a picture of them right there that was taken recently I believe at the New York City Hot Sauce Expo in Brooklyn, New York. Now Kevin's always looking angry, isn't he? Well, I guess that's why they call him the Angry Irishman. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get into this one. Uh, this is Angry Irishman's finishing barbecue sauce. Awesome looking label and logo, and we'll talk about that here in just a second. Now, um, Angry Irishman partnered with the Double Wing Brewing Company. Uh, that's also located in Ohio to use their lager uh, in making this barbecue sauce. Now, I just love what beer does to a hot sauce and what beer does to a barbecue sauce. Just really add, uh, love the flavor that it can add to certain products. So that is awesome. Now, let's go ahead and uh, get into this one. I want to talk a little bit here about uh, this awesome looking label. Now, that is known as the uh, Triquetra also known as the Trinity Knot, and I think this was Marianne's idea. She has the, this tattooed on each of her wrist. It says, uh, like all Celtic knots, the Triquetra is constructed of one continuous line interweaving itself around itself, symbolizing no beginning or end, and eternal spiritual life. And the, Celt, the Celts uh, favored the idea that everything important in the world came in threes, three stages of life, Three elements, three domains, earth, sea, the sky, past, present, and future. The triquetra is sometimes drawn, weaving around a circle, symbolizing the unity of the three parts. And just love what they've done there with it looks like the, uh, the crown of thorns. That is just awesome. So uh, great job on that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, I want to go ahead and read the side here. It says, what the what? The true lads and lasses, the angry Irishman knows barbecue. This finishing sauce has no heat, but is full of flavor. Why is it called a finishing sauce? Because when grilling or smoking, you use it in the last five minutes for best results. For best results. Great on pork, ribs, chicken, beef, um, brisket. The list goes on and on. Want to try something different? Add one to two uh, teaspoons, I believe, per pound into hamburger meat, grill and enjoy. Yeah, I bet that would be good. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. Now, the first ingredient we start off with is ketchup. Um, that's okay. Uh, and of course, that's made with tomato concentrate, high fructose corn syrup, distilled water, uh, corn syrup, salt, less than 2% of spice, onion powder, natural flavors. Okay. Then we have beer. Once again, that's the Double Wing Brewing Company's lager. Brown sugar, molasses, fresh onion, vinegar, garlic, and black pepper. Now this one just has a really nice consistency to it, guys. You can see some chunks in there. Now this is really not um, a super, super thick, sticky uh, barbecue sauce like a lot of them you see. Uh, this, you definitely can see the uh, bits and pieces of onion and garlic in here. You may not see it on the camera, but you can definitely see it in person, and you can taste it as well. Um, now, the aroma on this is just really, really good. Um, you've really done a great job with this one, guys. Um, it doesn't smell overly sweet. That's one thing I really like about it. Um, you get the, and it's, the beer is not that pronounced, but I do believe I can kind of get a hint of the of the beer. Awesome, uh, savory garlic onion aroma, slight sweetness from you know the brown sugar and the molasses and of course the ketchup, um, but it's got a really really nice aroma to it. Um, something different about this one. You know sometimes when products are made with very simple ingredients, um, there's just something about how they're made. Um, and this one has it. It just really has something unique about it I love. 
All right, I'll show you what it looks like. I just love the consistency on this one. Just perfect, you know, for a finishing sauce. All right, here we go. Let's taste it straight up. Mm. Oh. And another thing I really like about it, guys, now a lot of people may think, well, why do you use ketchup? Well, yeah, I think it could be better if you did everything, you know, instead of using ketchup, use fresh tomatoes and so forth. But I don't really have a big problem with that. It doesn't taste like ketchup. It doesn't taste um, anything like that at all. It has a really good uh, flavor to it. It doesn't have that that sticky, um, um, uh, you know, sweetness you know, or artificial taste or commercial um, processed taste from ketchup. It's just got a really nice uh, tomato um, flavor to it. The onions and the garlic is just awesome. You can actually bite into them and taste them. And the, the nice sweetness to this, but not overly sweet at all. Just very, very savory. Um, love the black pepper in here as well. I'm picking up on that. Love that. Um, but that beer really adds something to it. I really love that about it. It really adds something to it. So it's just awesome. And let me show you what I did with this one. I used it exactly what they said. Used it to grill some chicken and used it as a finishing sauce on a couple of... Uh, Chicken breast, there's a picture of it there, um, just amazing, really, really good. And then put some more on top as I was eating it. Um, really fantastic product, guys. If you're looking for a good barbecue sauce, a finishing sauce, uh, this one gets a um, 9 out of 10 for flavor. Very, very good. And there is no heat, so it's just zero for heat. But fantastic product, highly recommended. Uh, check this company out, guys. All of their products are, uh, I recommend. The only thing I haven't tried is their rubs, dry rubs. I heard those are good as well. But check this company out, guys. You can find them at angryirishman.net. I'll put the link down in the description. Give them a like on Facebook as well if you haven't already. Kevin and Marianne, thank you so much for sending this one. I do appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more. And until the next time, you know what to do. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.